Think big. So big data, uh, as we heard from the AI guy who spoke a couple of minutes ago, is important, but in my opinion, it isn't important at all in itself. It's just a concept like technology hype that you see all the time that appears in terms of the co uh, things that we deal with. What's important is what it can do for society. And if you look at society today, we live in an interconnected society. There's still an economic crisis. But the most important trend is a shift in power to individuals. Individuals like us determine the exactly what we want and how we want to consume it. And that's what's the most important thing. Now, what is big data? It's all the data and information that's produced in the world that is not necessarily structured. In fact, 80% of the world's data and information is unstructured. It's going to be 90% next year already, which means you can't organize it in rows and columns and manage it. You need to find another way to manage it. Already now, we, can, we have more data than was ever consumed in the world before the year 2003, just today. And that's only going to grow exponentially. Even machines are generating data. Social media is generating data. And if you're a business or you're a company or an individual, managing that is hard. Data is like the new oil. There's a lot of it out there, but it's difficult to refine it, extract it, and use it in a meaningful fashion. And that's what all of us are struggling with in our personal lives, and that's what businesses are struggling with in actually putting it into production. This is a guy in Sao Paulo. He spends all day in a garbage dump. I'm going to go there in two weeks to try and find something of value. And big data techniques are a bit like that. Luckily, we don't have to spend all day in the garbage dump to find something of value. There's luckily technology elements that can help us to do that. And many organizations are doing that successfully. In fact, 25% of organizations are already executing big data projects. About 50% are in the planning phase, and 25% are pretty clueless. So the idea is, when you are actually going to execute those projects, rather than if you should execute those projects. We heard about Watson from the AI gentleman. And Watson is really about artificial intelligence and cognitive computing, about actually being able to take concepts that are not assimilatable and actually assimilate them and provide an instantaneous response. But big data is not about a quiz game show. It's about real world problems and addressing real world problems. This is a hospital in Canada that's today using data technology to actually improve the health care for babies born with health complications and improve not only the health of this baby, but of all future babies to develop a model to do that is something what big data and analytics technology is being used for today. Vestas is a wind energy company in Denmark that is actually modeling weather patterns in real time and adjusting the exact positioning of wind turbines to generate the maximum amount of energy. Again, big data and analytics technology being used in ev to solve everyday problems. Customer centricity, this guy doesn't look really happy. I couldn't get a better image, but anyway. Customer centricity is the number one area to begin with big data. So all kinds of companies and organizations are thinking, how can we make our customers more happy with big data technology? How can we apply those technologies in that context and uh, be able to use it? So who are these customers, right? They look like this. They're doing iPhone yoga all day, right? So the idea is, how do you connect with people where smartphone users are more than standard users since last year in Europe? What in keeps them interested in life? How do you connect with them? How do you use data and analytics technology to connect with them? You could build Apple Store kind of branches and try to get these people in and collect all the information about their life. You could try to do that. But even if you did that, by the way, if you can, you should, but it'll only give you a limited picture about what's important to an individual, because an individual is a collection of many different things. They're not only about the demographic and transactional information that you have about them, but more importantly, about their behavior and interactions. That's most important. If you're a company or a, or a service provider, changes in behaviors and interactions are much more important than s transaction or demographic information so that you can actually predict who's thinking of leaving before they leave, which transactions are likely to be fraudulent before the fraud actually occurs, which new idea has the chance of success, or which insights can you extract from existing information that you already have. 
in the past, the business had a problem, and they threw the problem over to the IT side of the house, and they said, look, build us a system that solves this problem. Now, data is a creative discovery platform. You don't even know what question you're, you want to ask. You really try and extract insights from that data and apply it in a real-world context. Companies are using this today, for instance, to extract insights from mail and call center information to find out which customers are likely to leave them before they actually leave them. Right? That's something that's been put into production already today. This is a Belgian insurer that is using an opt-in program on Facebook, which is saying, we don't want to steal your data. You need to opt into a program where you share with your peers and you get value out of using that connected platform with your peers. So we as an organization are only connecting you with your peers in a meaningful fashion. You can go too far with big data. Target is a large retailer that predicted that uh, a girl was pregnant and was going to be a mother. The only problem was she was 16 and her parents didn't know, and they started sending her targeted marketing. So you need to be really, really careful about how far you go with data. You need to be respectful about what you do with it. So where do you get started? You start with customer-centric projects. You put it in the context of existing business initiatives you have. Begin with the data you already have rather than trying to get additional data. And of course, nothing begins without a business case. I've been involved with several projects in this space, and I can only encourage you to get involved. <laughs>